There are some additional sutures that you use from time to time. Uh, there's a vertical mattress suture, a horizontal mattress suture, and a figure of eight suture. And I'll run through those quickly. First of all, a vertical mattress suture is used to pull the tissue up. And you take a very large bite on your initial pass so that it goes all the way through. And then you come back in the opposite direction, catching just the very edge of the mucosa, like that, and like that. When you pull these together, it tents the uh, tissue up so that the wound edges approximate themselves. Uh, so you have more connective tissue in contact. And this, this works uh, best for skin sutures. But occasionally we'll use it in the mouth as well. That's the vertical mattress suture. The horizontal mattress suture is like a box. You pass the tissue, the uh, pass the needle through the tissue, just like you do on a simple. Then you come down about five millimeters or so, and you pass it back in the opposite direction. And you tr you're trying to keep the same amount of tissue between e each of those passes. Now you just pull this tight on the buckle. That's the horizontal mattress. And it's useful when you're trying to bunch the tissue together, especially when it's trying to pull apart. A third type of suture that uh, we often use when we're doing uh, grafting of sockets is a figure of eight suture. This is done by Passing the tissue, passing the needle through the tissue, through one side, and going down one notch. And we come back up. You can see the um, where they loop over there. You don't pull this tight until you're ready. Often, if we if we have a graft, you'll take a, an instrument, place it under the suture, and pull it up. Put your graft material into the socket. Put your membrane over that, and then you can pull it tight. And that crisscross helps hold the membrane in place so that you don't lose your graft material. We can, you can see the figure of eight. 
on the backside. 